Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing an art haul. First off, I just want to say that um, all of the stuff I've been collecting over time, I haven't just splurged and bought a lot of this stuff. I was originally supposed to move into a new space and a lot of the things I wanted to save for that space, but unfortunately I wasn't able to do that. So I remade my studio and I decided to bring everything over here. And I also bought a few new things and I got some stuff for Christmas. So I figured I would share everything that I got with you guys in today's video. So let's just start opening. I can't wait to show you guys everything. Okay, so the first thing I got were these silver black velvet watercolor brushes and they are one of the bigger brands. Um, I haven't officially started using them yet, but I am really excited to give these a try because a lot of really great artists use these, so I was really excited to purchase these. And to go along with that, sorry, I'm gonna have to unwrap this somewhat on camera and it's going to be a little loud. But I went to my local grocery store, Meyer, and decided to pick up some porcelain serving trays. Um, these, I have come to find out, are a lot cheaper than these little guys that I bought a while ago on Amazon. This one was $12.99. I got this massive plate for $6. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, they were on sale for 20% off. And then to go with that, I got two of these little serving bowls for like inky watercolor washes or maybe just some ink washes. But yeah, so this was a great value. I still really like this and I really like using it for ink, but for watercolor, I'm going to start using my big massive plate here. Another thing that I bought <laughs> a while ago was something that I needed and I keep forgetting to use. And that is a wireless mouse to go with my laptop. It, um, I have been using my finger to edit my videos and it's been really, really hard for me to do that. So um, I decided to go ahead and pick one of these up and I think I picked it up last year and forgot that I had it because I was so used to editing my videos with my fingers that I decided to get one anyway, but like <laughs> I totally forgot I had it. And then in here, this is some stuff that I wanted to try. And this is Dr. PH Martin's Black Star Waterproof India Ink and it's matte. Now I have the Windsor and Newton India ink, but it is not matte. And the reason why I wanted to try to get the matte is because last year during Inktober, because I kept layering so much, the black that I had got um, really, really um, shiny. It ended up being like how graphite shows with uh you know the shininess of it or whatever so i'm hoping that this will solve that problem and they will photograph better and scan a little bit better so i got that another thing that i got that i was super excited to try and that is the mona lisa actually this is a speed ball no it's mona lisa 
Oh, I guess Mona Lisa is speedball. So it is a gold leaf set and it comes with an adhesive and a sealer and 25 leaves of gold leaf. Now they do have really expensive gold leaf for like $50 a pad. I decided to go with the cheap stuff at first because I wasn't even sure if I was gonna like it and I wanted to just experiment with it without worrying about really wasting some expensive stuff. And to go with that, I got a gilding brush. And this is to wipe off the excess gold leaf when you are done. And then to go with that, I got some different colors of gold leaf. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see them, but I got I got silver and I got rose gold. Ooh, wow, they really flake off there, huh? And I got another bunch of uh, gold. <clears throat> It was about 300 sheets. I think I got for like nine bucks. I was like, yeah, that's cool. And since it's obviously pretty messy, Lord knows how much I'm actually gonna go through. And then this box, this is the most, the thing that I'm most excited about. I got some Daniel Smith color paints. I'm so, so excited. So the first thing I got, should have brought some scissors in here. I got the Daniel Smith Olivaro something master artist set and it comes with 10 colors. They are five milliliter tubes, but the colors that come in that are Hansen Yellow Deep, Mayan Orange, Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, Viridian, Yellow Ochre, Burnt Sienna, neutral tint, deep scarlet, and pyrrole red. Okay, so apart from that, I also wanted to get some other colors to supplement my set. So I got Payne's Gray, Sepia, Lunar Black, Thalo Blue, or phthalo blue, excuse me, I said that wrong. Cobalt violet. I got olive green. I got cobalt turquoise. And I got a really small five milliliter tube of moon glow because I really, really liked that color on my dot cards. So these are all the colors that I got to supplement these colors. So now I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 17 18 colors to work with and mix and do whatever I want to do with so I'm obviously super excited about these because I have wanted them for a very long time I've had my dot card set for probably about two years and I really enjoy working with the dry paint on the dot card so I can't imagine how much I'm going to enjoy working with paint straight from the tube another thing I got was this Crescent watercolor boards, and these are three boards, and they are nine by 12, uh, pH neutral. It's a cold press surface, so it's a little rough, but it's actually not as rough looking as some of my, um, my cold press paper, so it's kind of like a nice in-between. Um, and it's pre-mounted on watercolor board. Um, so, 114 pound watercolor board so I thought this would actually be really cool to try out um, partly because I'm still having problems with buckling and I thought this would give me a little bit more freedom to move my canvas without having it being taped down so much um, I'm still gonna be taping the edges to tape the edges but I'm I just really want to try this out it was about $11 for three of these so I thought that was relatively cheap depend you know considering that watercolor ex paper is expensive anyway and this is a nice hard surface to work on. So I also decided to support 
another artist and she is on YouTube as well and I got some stuff from catnip illustrations so I'm really excited sorry if that's loud to show you guys what I got here I actually haven't even opened this up yet <laughs> so I've been holding on to it for about a week um, going you know just because I wanted to show you guys on camera and how nice they were packaged so I bought oh she gave me free stickers <laughs> look at the little freebie stickers how cute nice confetti in here so as you guys know I am a big big fan of shark week and I love sharks and she oh got a nice little thank you card it's cute and she has a shark enamel pin and I just had to have this thing so as soon as I figure out how to open oh Oh my god, you guys, look at He's so cute, but it's a baby shark enamel pin, and it is absolutely adorable. I freaking love it. Um, it's got a blue back on there, and I am so excited I bought this. This thing is so cute. Oh, I love it. I really want to design my own one of these one day. That is so cute. Oh my God, I can't stand it. And then to go along with my mouse, I decided to get her little marshmallow mouse mat. So I got that as well. And I am really excited to use this. Put these over here. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh gosh, she has such the cutest stuff. Another thing that I got was this new airbrush. <laughs> um, I really want to start airbrushing. So this is the Neo for Iwata. I have no idea how to pronounce that because this is this was a relatively cheap airbrush, and since I already had a compressor, I just bought this in a new hose to get started, and it comes with. Um, All these little cups here and then a little wrench and then I believe it has a 0.35 millimeter needle so I have no idea needle and nozzle combination for finer detail spraying and medium size spray pattern so that should be um, relatively good for what I want to do and like blurry backgrounds and things like that so I'm hoping to <laughs> give this a try really soon. I got a new hose just to make sure there was no problems with, I mean, I have one, but I haven't used it in a very, very long time. So I have no idea um, how that's gonna work. Another thing I got was a airbrush cleaning pot and you just kind of stick your airbrush in here and run water through it and then spray straight into the cup so you don't have to like go to the sink to clean your airbrush or things like that. I got some frisket film, all-purpose fr frisket film. It's low tack, won't wrinkle, bleed, or lift, easy to cut and reapply, no residue, and translucent backing. I don't remember how much this was because I brought, bought this probably last summer, almost two summers ago, and I have yet to use it because like I said, I was saving it for my new space, and that didn't happen. So I got this. So to go with that, I almost, I also bought some paint from, I believe this is Holbein. Yes, this is Holbein. Okay, so this, I bought opaque pearl white. I bought opaque gray number four. These are probably not gonna stay still, so I'm just gonna let them roll. I bought opaque violet. And then I bought turquoise blue, which I think is mostly a transparent color. Opaque pearl blue. An opaque black. And an opaque pearl lemon. So I'm not really sure what I can do with these, but um, 
I figured if I just picked two colors to work with, I could just kind of go from there and see what I get. I also got some, I ordered some test paper for getting prints printed. So I got two different companies worth of that. I will leave them linked in the video description below. I haven't just, I think I've decided on G Clay today, but I also found a new local printer that I might be using. So I will keep you guys posted on what I decide from that. And then I also got a new um, masking fluid. It's Lis the Incredible White Mask Liquid, liquid Frisket. Um, I don't know if you guys follow Watercolor Misfit here on YouTube, but on her Instagram, she tested probably about 10 uh, masking fluids. And I normally use Winsor & Newton, but I've been a little bit disappointed with them lately. And this is her favorite. So I decided to go ahead and give it a try. It can't hurt. I can always use the Winsor & Newton if I don't like this one. And then last September for my birthday, I was gifted this beautiful sketchbook by um, my dad and my stepmom. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I have yet to do anything in it yet, but I really like the paper in here. And I think I'm going to really like messing with some ink pens and doing some nice ink and charcoal and stuff in there. So these next three are things that I have had for a really long time. And these were actually gifted to me by um, the husband. He got me this pinstriping set when I want to say right right after my kids were born or right before I got pregnant I can't remember but this is like 12 years old <laughs> and <clears throat> it has all these sizes um, of brushes and different kinds of tips and nibs and things like that and different kinds of brushes different different everything so I have yet to play with this and like I said I found the stuff that I had been saving for a while and I really want to mess around with it so we're definitely going to be airbrushing and pinstriping and another thing that he got me was a whole bunch of lettering enamel um, looks like I got bright bright red lettering black um, lettering white brilliant blue lemon yellow so I got primary colors and then this is a really old um, brush that came with it so he ended up buying me a separate set um, so I have no idea if this paint is even going to be good or if these materials are good but i've been doing some research and i figured if anything i can at least see if i like pinstriping and upgrade to better supplies later but i figured this would be perfect to practice and learn with um so yeah i'm real excited about that these are things that i have had <laughs> For probably about 15 years and it's a whole pack of other airbrush colors I have no idea if they're even good anymore but that's why I bought so many few um, a lot of them are createx fast color um, so some of these obviously aren't uh, like light fast or things like that but I'm sure I can do some test sprays and practice on cardboard with this and then move on to my nicer plates later and i got these for christmas so this one is skulls by simon winchester and mini small got this last year and i had to have it um so it's been on my wish list for a really long time and i finally got it but it has so much stuff in here for artists so i am really excited just to kind of experiment and do some studies and read about the skulls. The next book is Human Anatomy for Artists and the uh, Elements of Form. So this is geared towards artists and, um, you know, it really breaks down piece, the way that the anatomy works and makes it so you can 
really do some really great studies and see how the body is connected and things like that, which I need a lot of help in. I am really excited to get better at anatomy this year. The last book is Animal Anatomy for Artists by um, Elliot Goldfinger, both of them. And it's the elements of form, so it breaks it down into muscles and things like that, skulls, all kinds of stuff. So I am super excited to start working on some of this stuff. So that's the art haul, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you would like me to mess with first. I have to say I'm a little impartial to the watercolors because I've been waiting so long to get them, but the gold leaf and the matte black ink are really calling my name and I really want to play with everything. So I would be really curious to see what you guys are interested in seeing coming up on the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.